Inflation or not, the show must go on and for the Cincinnati Ballet and that involves letting their audience pay what feels right. The dance company tried it last year and reeled in crowds in the hundreds. But what's happening tonight is part of a long term strategy. Reporter Larry Seward is live outside the Aronoff Center with details. And what did the ballet's CEO tell you, Larry? Kristen, audiences either grow or they shrink. And given what the ballet's been through during the pandemic, their president said offering tickets to this show for next to nothing is a gateway to what's next. Of water and water and will on plainness. Cincinnati Ballet's next act. It doesn't matter about what you pay. Don't don't worry about it. Pay nothing. Is a leap. I think it's a wonderful and, and concept. They're exposed, they'll come back again too. So yes, and they'll come back. Sense. Longtime patrons might cheer more than curtain calls. But particularly in today's environment where people are stressing about inflation, people are stressing about all sorts of other dynamics in our environment. This is a, a gateway. It's another entry point. For one night, tickets to the dance company's latest show cost whatever you want. A concept used in Washington to connect with crowds short on money, hoping to see long term gains. After 18 months away from audiences because of the COVID-19 pandemic, Cincinnati's ballet reeled in hundreds of people with the same kind of show in Eden Park last summer. I think spreading that as um, alternatives to being online or being in front of Netflix or being on TikTok or seeing a 30 second video. As many introductory access points to, um, to bring people into the conversation and to recognize that they have a remarkable ballet dance company right here in Cincinnati. That's the name of the conversation. Building audiences of tomorrow is always an important core of what we do. It's important to reach people to grow the audience or it will eventually atrophy. For Scott Altman's nonprofit, revenue is important, but hardly everything. Ensuring fair access to the arts is a priority that's changing what's acceptable in r and off Center auditoriums. Come in shorts, come in jeans. You know, le yell loudly uh, when you see something that you enjoy and, and laugh and and cry and applaud and say that was awesome warms my heart to know that this city cares enough about all of their people in order to expose them to the the kind of arts that are available here for now it is a one-time offer but if the past is a cue ballet leaders see more in the future larry seward wcpo 9 news